Mishlei 21, 27. Zevach Rishayim Toeva, Af Ki Bezima Yivi Enu. Let's take a stab. Sacrifice of yeah. a Russia is, I know we don't like to necessarily define Toeva. Well, you can still translate it the way, it, you can, it still has a definite translation. Um, abomination? Abomination, yeah. Yeah, okay. let me just turn eyes up louder. Okay, so is an abomination. All right, all right sorry. Uh, is an abomination. Yeah. Is often this case even? Good question. So that's one translation. Um, okay, I don't really right. know. Uh, also is another one. However. However. Is it however? Okay, off key is, 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 yeah, is a little, think. yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's do even and also. Is it um, also um, like wrath or anger? Uh, not when used this way. Uh, you, the word off can mean that, but that's, I don't think anyone holds, yeah, I don't think anyone holds it's, uh, it's used that way here. Off key, bezima, yeah. yeah. Bezima up there. So yeah. Because, of, because of context or because of like some sort of conjugation thing? I think context, yeah. Even okay, yeah, makes sense. I don't think syntactically you can make it into a noun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, key as a uh, key is still really throwing me off. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> something. Okay, wickedness. I guess is. So, what are the context, two right? standard ways to translate key? Because. Because. Since. Uh, yeah, since because I put it in the same way. Why? Or or when. Yeah. Okay, with wickedness. Or yeah. In wickedness. Yeah. How do you translate uh, Yuviano? Um, they will come. They will bring it. Yeah, they will. They will bring it. Yeah, uh, in and then Zima, right? So Zima here is uh, either planning, plan, device, or wickedness. I'd also say, um, let's see, do they say this here? Yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> when it's used in a good way or in a neutral way, it can mean planning or, or, or design. In a bad way, then one of the connotations is like licentiousness, like uh, like promiscuity. You know, they say unchastity, incest, licentiousness, adultery. So like it has sort of sort of like negative, like like sexual connotation. Um, so let's just say licentiousness. Yeah, that actually is what I thought the primary definition was. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's the primary definition. It might depend on what safer you're uh, you're learning it in. Um, oh, that makes sense. I, I think I think uh, you might be thinking about it that way because in Vayikra eighteen seventeen, I think that's in Arayos when it says uh, zimahi. Yeah. And zima there is used for in, in sexual context. I think yeah. the, the way that Chazal uses it is primarily for licensed. Right. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's like negative intent. So that's the thing is like, uh, like, for example, let me show you in the, uh, let me share the whole screen. I don't know why I wasn't sharing the whole screen. Um, in, um, if you look in the beginning of Mishle, where it's saying good stuff, what the purpose of Mishle is, it says, um, oh, that's Tehillim. Okay, uh, yeah, um, yeah, Lasis Lapsim Arma, Lana Ardas and Zima, uh, to give to the um, uh, to the uh, naive simpletons cunning and then to the Naar to the youth knowledge and Mizima. Mizima and Zima are the same, uh, same word. So here it's clearly saying it's like positive thinking, but then you can also have like Adim Zomamin, you know, like conspiring witnesses, uh, conspiring. You never use the word conspiring when you're talking about like like good stuff. Yeah, you know, I'm conspiring to save the universe. You know, like no, uh, you know. Where is that from? Uh, that sounds familiar. It's like some better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say it again. Where That's is that positive. from? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying that it could be it could be neutral, positive, or negative, uh, depending on the context or depending on like yeah, the interpretation. Okay, so uh, let's get rid of that. And uh, this always happens. Hold on. I don't want a bitmap image, whatever that means. All right. Okay, so Mitsuda Sion to Zima, the Makshavara. So he takes it as, uh, as, uh, as negative, right? As a uh, evil plotting. Okay. Um, Sadia Gaon, uh, on the top right of your thingy there, uh, says um, so he only, he, the first half apparently he doesn't translate. Second half, he he says he translates interesting off as bifrat kish enam avim also elaba pesha, especially 
when they only bring it the Pesha. How do you, how do you uh, translate Pesha? Pesha is also a slippery one. Yeah, so Pesha is willful intentional sin. It has a more specific connotation. It's a specific type of willful sin usually. Like with brazenness? Yeah, brazenness, yeah, right. So uh, with like brazen, like rebelliousness, I don't know if that's gonna be the best thing. Um, yeah, so, uh, another way to translate is negligence, but I don't know how you could use that here. Yeah, okay. We just go over our work translation. Yeah, the sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination. Um, and by the way, sacrifice here, we're talking specifically korbanos sacrifice, okay? Like we don't use, I, I'm never aware of anything in Hebrew being used the way we say like a personal sacrifice, like in English. And people are always tempted to like read that into Mishlech Pesukim to have sacrifice, but I, I just have not killing someone. Uh, no, it means slaughtering an animal. You know, you don't use it for people either. Okay, so not a Russian. Uh, what do you mean? So it says Zavat Rashad. Yeah, so the, the the korban brought by a rasha. That's that's how I say it. Yeah, um, it can also mean slaughtering, like for the sake of um, of uh, of like like shkita, like for meat, like to eat meat. But usually the the implication is uh, in the context of like korbanos. So the sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination, even or also because or when they bring it in zima. And let, let's just boil this down to three things, okay? So this is, zima is either like like um, I mean here, I don't think it's going to mean positive, right? Because we're talking about Rashaim. So like, let's say um, scheming or licentiousness. Okay, like some sort of sexual um, uh, promiscuity, indulgence, whatever. Well, then I don't think the even would make sense before, like even if they were bringing it, like when they were scheming or licentiousness. Okay. You're saying Al-Ki opens up to there being a positive connotation to Zima here? Uh, yes, me or Yeshua? Sure. Sure. Well, I was thinking that, but I'm wondering if you were saying. No, if we're going along the lines of even when they, or whatever, if they bring yeah. it in a negative, yeah. I don't think it's like, because we're saying it's abomination. So yeah. It's like abomination, even when they bring this a negative. Okay. I hear that, but I don't want to delete it from the translation because I think there's a avenue of, of, of interpretation that might be open to that. Yeah. Um, let's just quickly read the target and then we'll list our questions. Divcha de Rashia Merache. Who mutul de verta my say lay. So he just translates, the only thing the Targum does is he translates um, Zima as transgression, Alberta. Okay. So that's like the broadest of them all. Okay. Everything else is just a uh, literal thing. All right. Can you define licentiousness? Uh, licentiousness is like some sort of sexual indulgence, deviation, violation, you know. Um, yeah. Okay. R scroll. The offering of the wicked is an abomination and surely. Ah, that's the other off, right? That's the one I was forgetting, right? Surely, that one you would like even more because that's the opposite of your question, right? Or that's where your question was driving towards. Um, uh, the offering of the wicked is an abomination and surely when they bring it with impure design. Okay, Living Nach says, the sacrificial offerings of the wicked are an abomination. How much more, um, oops, surely, um, how much more so? So that's like a Kava Homer when they are brought with evil intention. Okay, and an altar says the sacrifice of the wicked is loathsome, even more as he brings it depraved. Depraved is actually pretty good. Yeah, but depraved is more of like a, an adjective uh, to describe the Russia himself, as opposed to the, um, you know, Zima is like a way of thinking, I guess. Okay, all right, let's ask all the questions. One yeah. second on altar. Is yeah. he saying that the, um, the Zima is going on the Russia? The Zima is going on the Russia. Yeah, what else would it be going on? Um, because the you know, Yivienu, meaning, okay, meaning it could be they're bringing it in in Zima, meaning their action is one of oh, the you're saying. Yeah, or yeah. that they are in a state of Zima and so oh, okay, correct. Yeah, so I think that ambiguity is in the Hebrew. Yeah, is it's unclear whether Zima is qualifying the act of bringing or the person who is bringing. Yeah, okay. that's good. That's good. Uh, salty. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's get our so all our questions question. out. Yeah. All right. So let's say okay, so is Bezima qualifying the act of bringing or the Russia himself. Okay, other questions? Yeah, really? Is this a sac like who is the sacrifice for? I mean, it's like the actual nature of the sacrifice, I guess. Yeah, okay, so let, let's let's ask what type of sacrifice is this talking about? Um, now I'm, I'm going to assume unless like we are shown otherwise that this is talking about Korbanos in the base of Mikdash. So like you could say even if the Russia decided to change his ways and give Korban Pesach, like. That's why I, I, I think that it's, uh, it's, 
Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> that's why I objected to, to, not objected to your question, but that's why I want to keep that question there, you know? So, right, because we hold, yeah, exactly. Like, we hold mitoshal ishma, abolishma. Like, you can bring something not for the right reasons. And, like, you know, it might not be the highest reasons, but that, does that make it a toeva? You know? So, how are we translating that to a question here? I think that's a question really on off, right? On off or just on the actual nature of death off itself? Well, I think we'd have to answer it based on the nature of Zavav itself. But I think, the, like, in other words, you wouldn't, the question is only coming from the fact that this is somehow like a bad, the intent. The intent. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. So, so look, I'm just going to put this as a broad question, which we can expand if we need to. So what is the Hava Amina? So what, what does off mean? Okay. What does off mean in this context? And then what is the Hava Amina? Okay, in other words, i.e., why might we think that um, that the Zevach Rishain is not a Toeva? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Eli? Yeah. Like, what's the Hidush? This is kind of like every other passage from, um, from the prophets. Like, yeah. Um, okay. So, this is like insert a different word for Rishain, like whatever that means. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. So, so um, I'm going to. I don't know if this is the same question or if this is two different questions, which is, uh, I'm going to ask it as one question, which is, um, uh, what is this doing in Mishle? Okay, first of all, like, like, uh, um, first of all, countless Naveen uh, have said this, okay, which is not inherently a problem because Shlomo Melch did come before the Naveen, you know, but like, what's the difference if at anything between this and that? Second, um, Mishle rarely talks about korbanos or, uh, or, or even chukim, you know, like this is just not, Mishle tends to focus on being on lachavero, justice, individual decision-making, you know, so this seems like a very non-Mishle pasuk. And then there was a third way I was going to say it, which is, um, yeah, I forgot, but yeah, that captures the question about what was the, you know, this no, seems is, like. Is there a novel thought there? Yeah, is is yeah, hold on a second. Is, is, is there what's the Hiddish here? Uh yeah, Sean. Who's the abomination on? Who is the abomination on? Meaning who considers it like who yeah, like who is it an abomination for? Yeah. Is it an abomination for the Russia, for other people, for okay. God, right? Uh or for like the Beta Mekdash. Okay, so let's go like this. Um what does Toeva mean in this context? And then who, uh, or in, in whose framework is it abominable? Yeah. Yeah, David? Okay, two questions. One, why is he bringing this carbon? Okay, good. And second is, uh, what does he think this is going to accomplish? Okay. Uh, is there a, um, can we put that as one question? Okay. What does he think? it's going to accomplish. Yeah. What else? I feel like we got the main questions, I think. Yeah, how much yeah. are we going to even also, Shirley? Yeah, I just Follow asked them. it in the broadest way. Uh, yeah, another question. Yeah. Also key. Like oh, key, okay. yeah, yeah, off. Um, uh, uh, off or off key because I don't even know if it's if it's uh, you know, two different words or one phrase. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. When we're talking about the rush on bringing this and key is might be annual. Yeah. Is this saying like only in a situation where he is in the midst of Zima he's going to bring this, or just generally when we're trying to bring this, we view it as Zima? So I think that's going to uh, be answered by Sean's question about is if Zima is qualifying the act of bringing, then this is only going to be true when he does it in Zima. But if it's a quality of the Russia, then anytime a Russia brings it, then it's going to be that. Right. Yeah. So good question. I think we got it here. Okay. I'm going to actually. Um, uh, I'm going to move these. I'm not going to delete them, but I'm going to move them here in case, because I feel like they did have nuances. I just want to see all this on one screen. Yeah. Okay. So I think we're ready to analyze the puzzle, right? Oh, can I get just yeah. more? So in terms of the uh, Yeah. Like, I know we asked, like, what does it mean in this context, but what's the point of mentioning it in the first place? 
Like it almost seems as though you could kind of just say that the sacrifice of the wicked is a way of, and uh, ah, okay. That's there's something like specific okay. that stands out about. Okay, it. yeah, yeah. Okay, so that, that 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 that's good. Also, so in other words, um, uh, I'm gonna actually. Hmm. I conceive of that right now as part of the third question. Uh, I'm going to say it like this more precisely: What are the hava aminas? Okay. In other words, um, uh, why would we think that zevach zevach rishayim is not a toeva? And then what? Is the hava amina for afki bezima yiviano? That's what you were you were getting at, right? Like, why why do we need to be told? In other words, why couldn't it have just said zevach rishayim toeva, and that's the entire chiddush? Or just said the second half. Or just the second half, right? So I'm asking, like, what's the hava amina of each of each half? Let, let, actually, that's the best way to say it. Okay, what is the hava amina of uh, slash? You could also put uh, this Ellie's uh, question here also uh, in each half. Okay, in other words, um, if you have so like like yeah. Yeah, basically, why do you need, why are both halves necessary? Yeah. Can we, can we see the, the Targum again? I think that also ties you sure. to this question. Is it the Targum, well, so the Targum is the one who said, uh, uh, Evros, uh, uh, what, what was the question? Like that in sin, yeah. brings it, but also, what, what's it? Uh, okay, so Merachak um, is, oh, I'm saying, why am I just looking at Targum? I was meant to look at Mishle 21. Third half. Uh, Merachak is the standard Targum translation of Toeva. So, so sometimes the he, Targum translates it as Toevta, which is like just a literal thing. And sometimes he translates it as Merachak, which means like that which is um, like that God distances himself from or that that uh, that is repulsive. Like repulsive is probably the best English translation. And then Metul, I never got Metul is the translation of key. It's a weird word in in this type of targum. So metul de, is that what it says there? For for um, let me just yeah. look at the targum again. Yeah, yeah, yeah metul de aversa maisele, right? So so the only new thing here that's not a direct translation is uh, uh, aversa. Uh, yeah. Oh, so he does. Okay, metul and de, like yeah, he, he does the same afki. Ah, oh, correct. Yeah, that's good. That's a good one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Afki is matulda because basically, yeah, or since. Yeah, David. There's also a question number seven from Sean. Yeah. Uh, if it is, if the zima is going to be just like something about the act of bringing, then why mention the rasha in the first place? Ah, that's a good question. Okay, if if the former, then why uh, why is this limited to rashaim, right? Right, uh, it should be anyone who brings a bazima. Yeah, yeah. This is so regarding uh, uh, Ellie Board's question. Then, the, the, like, the question I guess is is like, is the havamina? In other words, is there a chiddush in the first half and then a second chiddush in the second half, or is the chiddush like emerged from both of them together? Like specifically this Venn diagram of Russia and bazima, and I, that's going to kind of depend on how you translate off, right? Because if off is like, is all the more so. So then that might, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's yeah, a good question. I, I like what you're asking. Okay. All right, so let's think now. Hmm. This is an interesting one. Yeah, so I, I feel like, what do you think the most central question is that we need to start off with here? There might not be one answer to that, but. Where's your mind drawn to as like a first step? For my approach, yeah, it would be the uh, in whose framework is an abominable. Okay, because I feel like that explains for me the uh, the off question. Okay, sure. So All those right. two questions, yeah, are random. yeah. Now I'm gonna not. I, I think there are um, there is room for uh, for different answers here, but I think well, we last year we went through every case of Toeva in Chumash. Now, Chumash might use it differently than the Shlomo, but in Chumash we saw that a toy is always used in, in, um, in, sorry, I guess not, it's not always, because the Egyptians say that eating, uh, yeah, never mind. Yeah, so it's usually used in terms of, uh, of God's framework. Yeah, yeah. like the cattle, right? It's a toy yeah, the, uh, the shepherding, right? Shepherding. Yeah, yeah, but you're right, it could be, yeah. It could be, yeah. I mean, you could say that in their value system, it was, it was a toy, but, you know, Right, meaning, meaning I, that could be in their religious value system. Meaning, like, yeah, yeah. Meaning, because I think we we definitely use it more for Hashem. That Hashem finds it uh, abominable. Yeah. Uh, and then, even when it's used for human beings, 
Isaac is saying like for the Egyptians, then that could be in that system also. So that's how I would default to. I'm not saying okay. that the other one's not acceptable, but yeah. Sure. Can I even approach? Yeah, sure. Okay. Unless you have another question. Do you have a question? I have another approach. Uh, Sean has to sit in there. No, no, please, please. Okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, I would think that the, okay. So the, when a Russia gives pure sacrifice. Yeah. That there's always going to be like something that's like kind of like told the shards beyond no type of thing. Like there's always something that he's got hiding still with him. Yeah. And I think this will be particular to a Russia who's someone who, as we say, like he's trying to always build himself up. So when he like will go and like give a sacrifice to God or an offering to God, there's always like some other alternative or something he's trying to like hold back so that he can be successful in this. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and so that's the scheming that he's bringing with. So like other people can generally, like they'll generally like they did something wrong. Okay, did something wrong. I'll bring my carbon on even if it's not a kata. But he, he's always trying to have something else like scheming with what he's trying to bring this sacrifice for. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you're saying, and are you saying that that is the, um, that's what makes it a toeva? Yeah. Right. And there's something, and okay. Yeah. And in particular to that, there's a certain, like, I'll just friends like people to people like, Oh, you're acknowledging that you did something wrong or like, okay, you're bringing something to me. Like, that's very, like, I appreciate it. Like I yeah. can see that you're, but once there's like, Oh, you're trying to play me. That's like really disgusting. Yeah. Okay. So, cause that's why my question I was going to ask you is what is the difference between this and a regular like Shalom Lishma, you know, like no, this is framing it as you're perfectly clean and framing it as like, okay. so, so it's the deceptive or it's the like ingenuous, the disingenuous way of presenting it. Uh, that is the, the toy oh, quality. Yeah. Okay. I hear. Yeah. All right. That, that's, that's a good, uh, good approach. Yeah. Okay. We have to develop it, obviously, but yeah, that's a good first step. Okay. So a few things. So I agree with Ellie in that it seems like it's pretty obvious that a Russia giving a Corbin is not something that he should be doing. Like you should not be giving a Corbin in an improper framework. Mm -hmm. I think that that's pretty obvious. So okay. I don't want to go down any route where okay. it's saying that the Russia is doing something that's wrong because that's pretty obvious. To me. Okay. okay? Um, and I also want to translate off then. So in the sense where it's even when this is the case. Mm -hmm. So then you're talking about a Russia who's doing something terrible, right? And you would say, even in this case, there's an abomination happening. So mm -hmm. instead of placing the abomination on the Russia, mm -hmm. right, I would prefer to contrast this with uh, the Pesukim uh, the that Ali was raising, right? Which is, we know that like, if you have a choice of like, like God doesn't want your Corbanos yeah. when uh, you're not being genuine outside of your Corbanos, right? right? Um, but that doesn't mean that God doesn't like want your korbanos, period, right? Mm -hmm. So in order to contrast that saying, right, when you're not giving korban out and a Russia is going and bringing korban, korban out, yeah. um, that is a reflection that that's even worse for you, right? Like when you're not doing what you're supposed to, and then somebody else does what you're supposed to be doing, mm -hmm. that's, um, a hmm. terrible like reflection on you so much so that even when he's doing it, when he's in the state of Zima, where he's like my senses and like, he's completely like uh abhorrent like in like like, like sentences is like you're abhorrent and outwards like right like you're you're like a like you're seen as like kind of like the blemish of society right. right um so even when he's in that state right the fact that he's still giving a core run in that state um and still is recognizing some framework of like that there is this core system and you're not recognizing that there's a core system because you're not bringing core up mm -hmm. that that is a abomination on Okay, I, I, I feel like I, I either missed a step or I, uh, I just, uh, yeah, hold on. So the, who's the audience of the puzzle, which we should add to this? Because um, I think that's what yeah, really your the answer. The audience is people who are not Rashan that are not giving Corbana. Okay, people who are not Rashan who are not giving Corbana. Okay, so it's telling that person. You would think that even when he's, like, you, you would justify, I mean, if you see a Russia doing it and then you're not doing it, you'd say, well, he's just doing it in this negative state. So yeah. therefore, I'm just like, it's not bad. It's not as I'm bad not, as I am. I mean, I'm not, not as bad as he is. Yeah, I'm, yeah right. I'm not bad. Right. Or I'm not as bad because I'm not giving a quorum. Yeah. And this right? is like it's a way to justify. Okay. And then, and then tell me again what the what this is telling you then? What's the Kiddush? So the, the Havamin is that um, like you, you can say, oh, what the Russia is doing there, giving Corbanos, that has like no value to it. Mm -hmm. um, and all right. But it, the reality is it does have some value to it. Um, and you can't use that as an excuse to say like, oh, the Russians seem like they're not following. Yeah, I'm not following, yeah. Who's a toy of on here then? 
people who are not giving pro bono that are not rich on. I, I, think, I think I'm having a hard time seeing it in the words. Like, I mean, I'm having a hard time seeing the idea too, but like, so, so Shlomo was telling this guy who is not bringing korbanos and saying, see, the Zevach Rishayim of Rishayim is a toeva. No. no. Causes yeah. A toeva on you. Yeah. Meaning, okay, you would think that when a Russia does it in the worst possible way, mm -hmm. right, that, um, that, um, it right, has no he, value. Yeah, it has completely no value. Right. But when the Russia does it in the worst possible way, he's still giving a korban and you're not. Right. And so therefore that's an abomination on you because you're not giving a korban. Meaning it's give, give me a sec, give me a sec. Yeah, I mean, I I I I don't see it in the words. And the reason why I'm not seeing it in the words is because you, I mean you're you're inserting. You're saying that the Zevach that the, Rus the Russia brings makes your lack of Korban Even worse. bringing a Toeva. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like inserting that, maybe it's the double move of inserting a subject that it's not saying and that subject being a lack of something. I feel like it's just like you're reading a bunch of stuff in like there's like big like brackets, you know, uh, that like, is being read here and they're saying, yeah, the toy is really going on that. And that to me just seems, uh, I like the idea, but that just seems to be forced when Zephyr Prime is a toy. In other words, I would rather look for a Kiddush. I, I, I sympathize with your reasons why you didn't want to look for a Kiddush in saying that the Zephyr of the Rishayim is a but I'd rather do that and like look for my Kiddush there. And only when I've fully exhausted that, <laughs> then posit that as something else. But, and this might be just a difference in intuition, but let, let, let's just play out. Let me just make sure I want to play out uh, all of your, uh, your interpretation, even though I disagree with how you read it. We're familiar with this from Zach, <laughs> that uh, Zach often gives interpretations like this, where the idea ends up being good, but I, I don't think that that's what Shalom was saying. So, okay, so let's, so now I got the first half. And then what's the off key, the Kiddush and off key, busy me, Yavinu? Um, you would think that a person doing it in this complete worst possible state yeah. that, that has um, no value and that's not a reflection on you. Right, meaning that the, when you, um, okay, just as your korbano, what, what, like the, the sukkim from the right? Mm -hmm. So you're, you give a korban, but you're a terrible person outside, mm -hmm. right? So therefore your korbano would have no value. Yeah. So now flipping that, right? Mm -hmm. A person gives their korbano in complete uh, uh, worst possible way to give a korban, right? That that still has, because it has a korban aspect to it. Um, so that still has a positive in it. Um, and um, yeah, that, that still has a positive in it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's flipping the, um, you would think that if outside you're a terrible person and you give a korban, then your korban has no merit. But like for, for the, for sure, for the Russia, his his korban has no merit. He's outside giving his korban, outside giving his korban. He's a terrible person, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. we know already from the sugan that his korban has no merit for him, mm -hmm. right? So then, therefore, I'm saying if there's no merit for him, then it's got to be a dismerit for other people. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not buying it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I mean, uh, you could continue to develop it. I. I. I'm not. I'm not convinced. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, I'm just not feeling. Oh, I can tell. Um, but maybe I'm gonna try. I'm gonna read the puzzle this way. Like, the sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination. Surely, when they bring it, um, like like in Zima, like, yeah, in like essential like system, yeah, right. So I'm gonna say that the second half of the puzzle is uh, is like qualifying the first half, mm -hmm. right? So. Maybe you could say that the uh, that the that the toeva is um, you know like 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 what like what what is a toeva right the toeva right. is kind of it's like uh it's like uh it's, it's like you're kind of like taking something and you're you're like repulsing the you're like you're like you're taking something and you're kind of just ruining like what the idea like what that idea is meant right for, right so like when in Russia you know <clears throat> you know it's like giving um. Is like he's like giving a karma, like he's taking what's meant to be a good idea and he's like distorting that. Yeah. Yeah. So um, and it's not necessarily that, you know, if you didn't have the second half of the pasuk, then like a Russian giving a karma is not necessarily bad. It's like what he's using. It's it's like the it's what he's doing it 
or is the meaning the thing itself you're saying the first half is something that the thing itself is is bad because he's like warping the idea of the thing but the fact that he's bringing it you might know, be a good thing yeah the and then you're saying that the second half is is saying that the, the the fact that he brings it to zima makes it a bad thing yeah uh-huh, i hear interesting it's it's the um no i'll tell you why it's interesting because it's the uh I'm just gonna. I'm not saying an idea. I just want to throw in a, a framework that I have, which I think is the same idea, but I'm reading the puzzle opposite. I keep on associating, maybe because you guys were doing this in Chiri last week. I keep associating to Kain and Havel, and uh, it's not just that that Hashem rejects um, the korban. If you look at the pesukim, uh, is hold on, let me just get the puzzle here. This is in Breishis four six. No, four four. Um, Vayisha Hashem el Hevel ve el Minchaso. So Hashem turned towards Hevel and his his offering. The el Kain ve el Minchaso lo Shah. And he did not turn towards Kain and towards his offering. So there was a, a double thing. There was God favoring Hevel and his korban, and then rejecting Kain and his korban. So there's, there's two things. There's the person and then the korban that they bring. And you could have cases where it is one and not the other, where God your korban is acceptable, but you yourself are not, or vice versa. So that, that, that was the distinction you're making. I was thinking in the opposite way. I was thinking that Zevach Roshayim Toeva tells you that the korban, sorry, I was thinking that that's telling you that it's that it's a Toeva because of who the Russia is, and then keep his, no, actually, I, mean, I think the other way is better. <laughs> Zevach Roshayim Toeva is saying that the korban itself is bad, and keep off keep is the 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 his motive or or the the, the way in which he's bringing it renders it uh bad in another sense but i think we're both operating in the same categories here that there's the 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 there's what the russia there's the thing the russia is bringing and then there's like the way he's engaging in the institution something like that uh yeah i want to modify that i don't want to say that the sacrifice is automatically an abomination yeah i think it's only an abomination because of what he brings it Okay. Because um, I do think there's like this uh, idea of like not teshuva, and, like the right. can bring the carbon in order to redeem himself or to steer himself to the correct path. Right. So the question on you is going to be how are you reading off key, right? Because it does seem to be, I mean, I guess it depends on, on how you read it. Yeah. Then because. because. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. So, so yeah. So the, I, the I guess. Combination because in that, the way he's bringing it, it back on the uh, right so, so now i see so that's what the targum was saying the targum is that's what you were getting at before oh, also a different targum i know but wait a minute i just google translated it and they put synonyms of inki and alpha p and they, they wrote all the which like although yeah 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 um yeah so so but um i gotta process that separately but just the, the first <laughs> the first thought is uh is i was going to object by saying then it should just say key because but the targum is saying that afki means because. So you're you're good there reading wise. Yeah, yeah. So so let me just get what you're saying here. So you're saying that the fact that the Russia brings a uh, korban itself is not bad, yeah. because maybe he's doing it to to do tshuva or whatever. But if he's bringing it bezima, then definitely it's a toeva because then he's not even doing it for the right purposes or whatever you want to say it is. Yeah. That, I'm gonna predict. I haven't read this yet. I'm gonna predict that that's how the Matsuda stuff is gonna take it. Okay, that sounds like a very Matsuda stuff type idea. How so, is that different than what I was saying? What was that said? See, you're making it into one, like uh, the 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 pasuk is making one point, which is that when a Russia brings a toeva bezima, that's bad. But if a Russia brought a toeva not bezima, then that wouldn't be bad. What are you were saying? There were two separate things. Yeah, that there's the bad aspect of the korban itself, and then also the way. It right, the korban itself is a toeva, and the way he brings it is a toeva, and that's I, I was also saying that there's like two fiducium or two like steps here. That's the main difference. I would say that the carbon is a toeva and the and, and the what? And the, the fact that he brings it with this motive is a, an additional bad quality. Why would it automatically be a toeva though? Um that's a good question. I wasn't really, I wasn't really saying that. Okay, well, you can say what you meant again then, because that's that's how I, I understood you like you sure was. I was saying it's not I was saying that it's not necessarily a toeva. I mean, the Russian brings a carbon not necessarily. A oh, I thought you were saying it is because he's distorting it. So because maybe, of the second. Part. Oh, fine. So you are saying the same thing as, as you show then. Okay. Yeah, uh, Ellie and then Sean. All right. So I'm also I might just be reiterating what we just said to a certain extent, but um, I'm also going based on uh, key being because, mm -hmm. and I think that's because um that um. 
I would think if it said when, I mean, I would think any Corbin given Zima would be like a transgression. Right. From this like, sort of, like, regardless of who gave it, even like, I guess you could say this past week's Parsha. Yeah. It's like our own sons, like they weren't necessarily uh-huh. bad people. I <laughs> right. think it doesn't write them out to be, but when they give this, that like, when you're giving Corbin, you're kind of like walking on eggshells. Mm-hmm. So it shouldn't really matter who's giving it. I think it's almost more of a character trait in the, Really saying, I think what this public really saying is not really about the Korban itself, but it's about the intention of the Russia. Um, uh-huh. But hold on a second. But you're saying though that if it was the same intention but not a Russia, then would that be what would that be? It would also be um, a toy book. So then what why is it talking about the Russia? Because it's giving it, it's this public is about the qualities of the Russia. Okay, I see. So in other words, what the Pasuk is saying might be true for anyone who brings up Azima, but the, the subject of the Pasuk is a Russia and how he brings a korban. So the insight's going to be from that. Yeah. Okay, I see. In other words, this is not really a chiddush about korbanos. This is a chiddush about rishayim as reflected in the way that they bring their korban or in like the way that we yeah. evaluate. Okay, I, I see that. That. Yeah, that, that, that's, I, I, I don't know how to reflect this in the question, but like, I, I do. <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, uh, so, Pasuk. And then the question is going to be, um, what is the subject of the Pasuk? This is Rabbi Moskowitz's favorite question, uh, but um, like that's that's the one that he and I argue about whether you should always ask this or only ask it when the puzzle dictates it. <laughs> you know, but I think here that's the question: is like, is this a chiddush in korbanos, and and then it's using the case of the Russia because it really illustrates this point, or is this really about Rashaim? And you see a certain feature of the Russia in the way that God regards his korban. I think it's that's going to be a good about spot. Korbanos, you could just say any korban given bezima, bezima yeah, would be a transgression. Yeah. Um, okay, good. Yeah, good. Yeah. All right. That, that's a nice move also. Yeah, Sean. Okay. In what Ariel and Shu are saying. Yeah. All right. So then a Russia who is giving a Korban in Shuva. Yeah. How is he still being a Russia on that? Like, how is he existing in a Russia framework? Right. And isn't something that we've defined, especially like a Mishleik Russia that yeah. he doesn't do Shuva? Well, it's interesting because a Mishleik Russia is defined in terms of his relationship to the system, right? So, yeah. like he he wants to basically supplant the system, you know, in his uh, w- with his own way of operating, right? But a Russia can still do tshuva, and okay, the reason if, if he's doing tshuva yeah. in, in that context, yeah, right. So then he's submitting to the fact that there is a larger system than he. Okay, so, not a rich so let me let me let me uh, refine your question in a way that I think it is a, a good question, and then explain how I was answering it. So I think a Russia can do tshuva. Let's say Russia could definitely do tshuva being Adam Lachavero, right? Hitler upsets his girlfriend, right? So he's a Russia, but he could do genuine tshuva with uh, with another person. Okay, I don't think that would. I don't. I don't think the definition of Russia is contrary to that. But what you're pointing out is that. Uh, a korban to Hashem would indicate a tshuva in terms of your relationship with reality itself, and that's that he can't do, right? Yes. All right. So I think that's a valid question, yes. which is why I think David's assumption that the Russia has some sort of alternative motive is uh, is good is you know is a good a good assumption. But then how are you translating off? Yeah, that's my follow up on that. Yeah. So zeva prashaim toeva af ki bezima yiviano. Right. So, so let me just follow the the the, uh, the the deductions we're making here. So, we would have to posit that the Russia is bringing the zeva for some other reason, not for doing tshuva, right? Yeah. And I guess you could take one of make one of two moves. You could either say that that's the fact that he is bringing it with this alternative motive, or that his korban is intrinsically antithetical to the whole like notion of korbanos. That's what makes it a toeva. And then there's an additional component of badness in the bezima. Or that it's just one one thing that this is what it means that he brings up Bazima, that he has some sort of other scheming thing. But your isn't your question more on the Havamina? Like why would we think that this is good? No. No. So what's your question again? No, my question is so then if he has to be doing the sacrifice in a negative way, he can't be doing it in Chuva in the first half. Yeah. Right. So then saying that the, the even of the second half doesn't make sense. And it would like you, you would then we would need to define what is the like you have abomination and yeah. then it's going beyond right. abomination. Unless you take your Shua's move and say that that it's an abomination because he brings it Bizima. But if he brings it Bizima, yeah. Right. So then oh, so then you're just translating even as even, not just uh because. You're just translating as because, as because right. And and then the, the it would be the same quality that the the his his Russianess uh well. Or you could say it's, you could say that it's it's the fact that he's a Russia and his korban is antithetical to submitting to a system, uh, 
therefore means that whatever other motive he's bringing it with, which is the Zima, like in other words, he, he has to have some motive for bringing it, but it's not the correct motive. And the fact that he's bringing it and he, his whole essence is antithetical to the whole institution and he brings up the Zima, like that's the whole thing that makes it uh, unacceptable or uh, an abomination. Okay, but you can translate, you're, you have to be translating as because. Because, yeah, I think so. I don't think it works the other way, uh -huh. yeah. Is there something that we can say for even? Uh, within that, that framework? Yeah, that you have a toeva and then yeah. you have beyond toeva. Yeah, I do think that there is something because I think that, uh, okay, and, and then maybe this is, um, I mean, in other words, you could be a toeva in one framework and then the bezima adds an additional layer of stuff. Like for example, let's say you have someone who, um, let's, you have two people, let's say you have, and we'll, go, and we'll stop soon. Let's say you have like a Bernie Madoff who's giving tons of money to Sadaka, but his whole life is one of injustice. So that, that's his, I would say his Sadaka is a toeva because he's clearly not caring about the system. Now, let's say you have another person who is an openly corrupt politician who is doing the same thing, but he's openly buying off people with the money that he's donating. I'd say that's an even worse thing, both either, either because of the impact on society that people know he's doing bad stuff or because like he's, you know, I don't know, openly perpetuating crimes, not even doing this. Like there could be other bad qualities of, of what he's doing. So I don't know what the Zima is, but uh, yeah, yeah. The one last thing. Sure. We just read Zima as like, uh, like a neutral premeditation. Neutral premeditation. Yeah. Like you thought about it beforehand. Okay. That's possible, it right? Come with like a radical. Okay, I hear that. I'm gonna I'm gonna add uh, I'll add that here. Meaning, uh, or neutral premeditation kind of reminds me of like uh, that if you eftev ashuv, if you say I'm gonna sin and I'll just do chuv on it, then that invalidates it. So it'd be one thing if like he he does this sin or whatever, and then he brings the korban, but he can't quite commit to the chuva, whatever. You know, this is like you no, know, he's going into the whole process fully aware that I'm going to sin, I'm going to bring the Korban, I'm not going to have any intention at any point to do tshuva, like it's all, all premeditated. Yeah. Okay, let's not summarize, let's let this roll around, and then tomorrow we'll have a, we'll plan to consolidate, like tell me what you think of it, and then we'll go into the Mepharshim. And I only want to spend one one more day on this process, I don't want to do a four-day one again, even though that was, nice, that was nice last time, but yeah. All right. Yeah. I also hear down the side, but the, like it surely... Sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I also I'm I'm on the fence here, but all right. Thank you. Yep. You're welcome. Thanks. Okay.